Carol, keep watching because there are going to be some people who might be quite happy about all of that and about some rain. Yeah, indeed, because yeah. the, uh, the washout July might not have been great for our summer holidays, but apparently it came at just the right time for wine producers in England. Yeah, perfect. This is fact. good news. The mixed weather we've had this summer means 2023 is promising to be a great year for grape crops. And Steve Humphrey is at a vineyard in Chichester for us this morning, getting an early sample, Steve. Morning. <laughs> good morning, John and Sally. Yes, isn't this marvellous? An early morning walk in an English vineyard in the rolling Sussex countryside. And as you say, vineyards right across the country are expecting a bumper crop of grapes this year. And that's all because of the topsy-turvy weather we've had. Now, the English wine industry has been gradually expanding over recent years. There are now 943 vineyards right across the country. Five years ago, they were producing something around 5 million bottles of wine a year. That went up to around about 12 million bottles a year last year, expected to rise even faster. And also, exports of English wine are doing well. So, why is it that the weather has been good for grapes? Now, the man who established this vineyard here at Tinwood near Chichester is Ad Tucker. And he can tell us, if he joins me over here, by the bunches of grapes, why it is that these chaps are doing really well at the moment. As you can see, they look really good. So, Ad, tell us the weather. It's been good for grapes. Yeah, we started off, <clears throat> we started off very cold, spring. Then we had a very warm June, what is good for flowering, uh, and dry. And we had rainfall in July, what swells the berries. So we have six weeks to run, so it's looking good. What do you need now? We need good weather, we need sun, warmth, so they can ripen. And um, hopefully ready for harvest in the end of September. When will you know if you've got a good quality product from these grapes? You can say now that the quality is good. We have no diseases, um, so minimum amount of sprays. So the sugar content should be good. And um, so it's all overall looking very, very promising at the moment. Super. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much indeed. Yeah. So they're producing all sorts of wines here at Tinwood. With me is Jody, who's in charge of uh, wine sales. You're, whoops, mustn't fall over. <laughs> um, you're holding one of your bottles of wine. What's that? What are you producing? Good morning. So uh, here at Timwood Estate, we are producing three different English sparkling wines. Uh, the first one I'm holding is our lovely Blanc de Blanc. Now our wines get uh, mainly enjoyed by visitors that come and visit us for our vineyard tour or even stay the night with us. Our Blanc de Blanc, our first wine, is made of our Chardonnay grape only. We here on the farm, we are actually growing three different grapes, Chardonnay, Pinot Noir and Pinot Meunier. And you're doing, as well as the still wines, you're doing sparkling wines as well? Sparkling wines only, yeah, correct. And are they, in terms of quality, are they rubbing shoulders with the best produced in places like France? Rubbing shoulders, I would probably say that we are the best. Uh, English sparkling wine is uh, rising in popularity and we can make these award-winning sparkling wine in England due to, unfortunately, global warming. Temperatures are increasing, so we are making the best wines in the world eventually. So yep. all you need now is that what Indian summer to, to finish things off for this year? Yep, correct. Um, another couple of nice weeks, just to give that last little bit of complexity to the wine. Eventually we'll have an... Uh, um, we'll, we'll have in two years time, we'll have the luck to try these beautiful wines with, with all of our customers. We can't wait for this. Super. Jody, but thank you very much very indeed. Very promising indeed. Yes. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed. We all want some sunshine and some warmth. From the Timwood Vineyards near Chichester, back to you. Steve, thank you very much indeed. We'll see you again a little bit later. It looks lovely there, doesn't it? It looks beautiful.